So this weekend I get to embark upon one of my... Hello everyone! So today it is Friday the 31st of January 2020 and this weekend I get to embark upon one of my biggest challenges to date. So I'm going to be attempting to complete the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. So for those of you not in the know, the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge is a is a 25 mile hike across the Yorkshire over the three biggest peaks there. So the idea is the challenge is to complete all of that within a 12 hour period. I'm going to be doing this challenge with two of my work colleagues, Ryan and Paul, which I'm sure you'll see a little bit later on in this video too. The weather forecast is looking like it's six to seven degrees and with showers. So fingers crossed that the rain doesn't prevail and I get to do a quite nice weekend over the Yorkshire three peaks. The rain doesn't prevail. The rain doesn't prevail. So I've made it. Welcome to our humble abode for the evening. It's what a lovely place. It's really beautiful. This is the vlog. This is Paul. Say hello, Paul. Hello. Hello. It's this is only, Jamie. It's only oh. five to five, by the way. It's only. It's quarter to eleven at night. Quarter past. What time is it, Jamie? Quarter past. Quarter, it's quarter past eleven at night. But uh, we've arrived after a five-hour journey, and we've arrived in what can only be described as Downton Abbey. So we're in. The, <laughs> we're in. We're in the kitchen where. We're starting to prepare some food. Before we do, we thought we'd do a really quick tour of the house. We're in this huge living room oh, wow. where oh, that good. we have a huge open fire. Oh. Thanks, JP. That was a nice, nice sound effect there. <laughs> this is the living room. This is where we're gonna spend the rest of the evening because the kitchen is like an ice block and the rest of the house is absolutely freezing. Should we uh, do a tour? Should we do a tour? Who's gonna, who's gonna do a tour with me? We should start at the front door. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you, you said we should do a tour with me. We both did together. went, no, no, did you? <laughs> so I'm doing it. <laughs> am I doing the tour on my own? Yeah, yeah. Am I? Yeah. I'm gonna start at the front door. So that's pretty cool. So this is the view of Yorkshire. And this is our house for this evening. And there's three of us in a six bedroom house. Very good. I'm in. So this is the entrance hall. We have one room off to the right here with absolutely no lights on whatsoever. But we're not gonna be using this room. So this is a room that is spare. We have our kitchen. We have, our, we have our kitchen up currently vacated, which I've introduced you to. What's in here, I wonder? <laughs> Who's in oh! here? Oh! <laughs> what is it, a larder? It goes on and on and on. You come out into the hallway again, and we have a snooker room. Back into the living room. <sighs> He's allowed to relax in. Upstairs, oh, we have our first floor conservatory, as you do. We go up to the second floor, bedroom number one, with two single beds. Bedroom number two, with, count them, one, two single beds. In here, we have the most garish toilet you have ever seen with an incredibly garish sink. Then we have bedroom number three, an ensuite bathroom. There we go. Then we've got a study in case we want to break out the laptop. And then here, bedroom number four. This one has a tiny bed and a double bed. Also, a la ensuite. 
and then we have some stairs. I'm not sure where these stairs go. And these stairs back down to the kitchen. I'm going to sit by the fire. So what's the plan, Paul? We're going for a walk. <laughs> how far? Uh, I don't know, just after a couple of hills, isn't it? 24 miles? <laughs> 24, 25 miles, something like that. Yeah. Didn't realise how far it was, actually, yeah. just looking at it. For dinner, we've got our Vegan pizzas that I made. Your wife made. That my wife made. Jamie and Paul are helping, aren't you, aren't you guys? Helping. Jamie, can I just ask, with all the vegan food yeah. that I'm prepping here, this isn't vegan, but this is, and all of this is, all the vegan food that I'm prepping, what are you doing, Jamie? These are brilliantly nice corn sausages. They're not corn, are they? They, they might be. Be honest, Jamie. We've got our salad. These are my wraps for tomorrow's walk. We've also got some Aunt Betty's potatoes, aren't necessarily vegan, but yeah. This isn't chicken, some grated uh, vegan cheese, falafel style spiced baked. Uh, we've actually got some falafel, and then we've got some frozen ragu, so spaghetti bolognese basically, but meat free, completely meat free, to go with our pasta. Is that looking good, guys? Yeah. yeah. Looking good? Would you like to vlog me vlog? I'd like to, yeah, can I vlog your vlog? Go on then. You ready? Yeah. On three, two, one. Right, so we've made it to the Yorkshire Dales. So I've got with me, I've got Paul over there. Hello. Hello Paul. I've got Ryan who's vlogging the vlogging, which is a bit strange. I'm but vlogging you vlogging. Ryan. So currently got some food on the go, we've got some sausages cooking for breakfast. We've got some nice, what is this, vegan food? Ja Jamie, hang on, yeah. hang on. Spin that round. For the benefit of the vlog, yeah. can, you, can you just explain what you've done? Yeah, so what I've done yeah. is, because me and Paul don't trust your vegan cooking, yeah. we decided it'd be a fun idea to uh, make some um, not so corn and not so, so not vegan so sausages. Yeah, you've, you've made pork sausages, haven't you, Jamie? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We've got them in brioche buns, because obviously they're really very vegan as well. <laughs> so we're all ready to go. <laughs> you didn't just buy normal buns. Yeah. You bought buns <laughs> coated in butter and milk. Yeah, we bought some the sesame seeds on top, though. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lovely, massive kitchen area, which... Hey, I'm, I'm gonna f*** you doing that, I'm stop vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long day tomorrow for Paul. <laughs> we have pizza, ragu and pasta. We've got falafel, potato, more pizza. Are we happy, guys? Oh, yeah, it's oh, good. Very good. Okay. Tuck in. Oh, yeah. Well done, bro. What's in your bag? You've got waterproof trousers, yeah. gloves, portable charger and cable, cheeky beer. You got, you got, you got a beer? Yeah, you got beer in there. Can we have beer? Cheeky <laughs> beer. I've got some M&Ms, some Freddos, some dairy milk. Yeah. Two one and a half litre bottles of water. Got a beer. <laughs> got some brownies and flapjacks. Some sausage rolls, crisps and a pork pie. Don't have to pack too much, but we'll see tomorrow. Let me just make sure. So that's dinner finished, and we're gonna have a quick look at the map. Uh, map. <laughs> the route, to show you guys the route. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So this is the route. So we start down here in Broughton and Ribblesdale, and we actually go anti-clockwise. So our um, first peak of the day will be Penny again, which hopefully we should have be done within a few hours of starting, which would be quite nice. Uh, we head over here, then to Wernside, uh, to do our second peak of the day. And the final peak will be Ingleborough. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing that hopefully before 12 hours is up. And then we get a gradual descent all the way down into back into Horton and Ribblesdale for our finish. Yeah. So we're gonna try and aim to start as close to 5.30 as possible. In the morning, yeah. In the morning, and then first peak is how far? A couple of miles. A few miles. Yeah. Next peak is, I mean, that's gotta be about 50% of the way. It's gotta be more than that. That's gotta be, that's gotta be, surely that's gotta be at least a 10 mile mark. And then you've got Ingleborough, which is your third. And then the third, third, peak, third peak, final peak, and then to the finish line. That's a good route. Well, why do you go that way, Jamie? Why would you do it the way around? Just for that one. You can do it either way. Oh, you can. Yeah. So then if you look at 
out to the actual route itself. You can see the three peaks throughout the day. Um, so our first peak will be by 2.7 miles in. So hopefully I'd argue that like to get them probably within the first hour would be yeah. nice. Yeah, we want to do that one quite quickly. Our second peak will be at 14 miles. And then our third peak will be at about 19 and a half miles or so. And if you look here, the, the actual, the, the last peak is the steepest peak. It's oh, a wow. real steep gradient. Good job. Very good. Uh, Check out those shorts, Paul. Yeah. Paul? Walk it up. <laughs> what time is it now? So it's, it's, uh, it's quite late now. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. <laughs> so it's quite late in the evening. Last um, minute preps before the morning. Last minute preps, making sure we've got the bags correct so as we can literally wake up in the morning and go. So before we can carry on, guys, I forgot. I've got a present for you two. Oh, wow. Right. We've, I've got, before we go to bed, before we end the vlog for today, okay, okay I've got, a, uh, I can't see you. I've got a present for you, and I've got a present for you, okay? Sure. Are you ready for this? Real? Let me open it. We both got the same thing. Are you ready? <laughs> so that, Paul, is oh, for cool. you. Thank you. And that, Jamie, hey. is for you. I'll be needing that to keep the sun out of my eyes tomorrow. Here we go. Then I've got my one. Very good. Oh. There we go, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, <some bread. laughs> oh. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Morning. 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 Morning, Paul. Morning, mate. Right. Morning, JP. Morning. So this is, what time is it? So it's just gone 4 a.m. and just sitting down to breakfast. What you've already eaten. Yeah, these guys have just had a bowl of roadkill. We're gonna finish breakfast, we're gonna jump in the cars, and we're gonna make our way to the start line. So the next time you see us, we'll be about to start the Yorkshire Three Peaks. So, I can't see a thing. <laughs> what's uh, what's the time? I don't know. I've been so blinded. Half I'm now Stevie one. Yeah, half five. Half five. Half, half five. five. And we are. Where are we? Uh, Penny Gent. We're at Penny Gent. We're in the Horton in Riversdale car park. Penny Gent is in my. Three peaky blinders. Just about to start the three peaks, and we are living the dream. Yeah, come on, let's, off. let's do it. Come on, well done, guys. Good luck. Okay, press start. Ready? Ready, steady, and we are officially started. Go. Oh, so I text the wife when I'm starting. Morning, everyone. So it's currently half five, and we're just setting off on route for our Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. It's dark as anything, as I'm sure you can see. It's a little street light. But actually, as we hit off, Ryan's got a very bright light. Thank you. Oh, well, Jesus. <laughs> and we are en route. We've got 24, 25 miles. A lot of climbing today. Oh, this should be really good fun. <laughs> should be a really fun day. That's what we can do with the brick bright. It's absolutely pitch black. I have a head torch to rival all head torches. Let's do this. Okay, we're at the start of the first, we're at the start of the first peak. So this is the sty to ascend. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see this, but that is the ascent of the first peak. We are, I think we're on route. See anything, Ryan? Turn around. Sorry. We're at the start in our first ascend in the dark. Go. Here we go. Whose idea was it to do it in the dark? Yours. I can't do it in July. We can't see a thing. We can literally see about six foot in front of us.
over the wind. But we're about halfway up Penny Ghent now. We've got about half a mile to go until the top. There's no rain, that's all that matters, and there's a bit of wind. We've reached quite a steep part here. just about to go up to the peak so I thought that's all right there's the peak there that you can see that zoom in probably can't at all but I thought yeah that's the peak there no can't see it at all but I can see that faintly on the background of the clouds and that is a huge peak oh. I don't know if you can hear me over this wind. This is, this is. You can see, we're not at the top yet, but this is the steepest route. Look how steep it is, can you see? I don't think you can see it on camera. way now heading down here
Yeah. It'd be really tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the route we've taken, doing that one first, and then the one, <laughs> we haven't done the other two before, so I guess it. We're trying everything not to do the first one in the dark, yeah. which is why we did the first one. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh. I reckon you can fly your drone on this. Do you reckon? Yeah. Should we have a little break and then try? that's being carried on the wind so it's not too bad this isn't the best conditions the weather forecast did the weather forecast did forecast heavy gales and the wind is back
11.2 miles and we're just about to start our ascent the viaduct here to Wernside. Let's do it. So I'm sitting in my car. I'm conscious we haven't actually got a video of Penny Ghent from a distance. Apologies for this being on my phone. Hardest thing I've ever done. Just being back here, looking at this attempt yesterday, just makes you realize how unprepared we were. <laughs> and if she carries on, I'm gonna take her to the top of it and leave her. No! So we've had to return to Yorkshire today because I left my GoPro right here. Right here right here in this space here. This is where yesterday I got changed because I was absolutely soaking wet. A very hard long day and I had put my GoPro down to get changed behind my car and in doing so I'd left it there. Thankfully by posting it all over Facebook, uh, a very nice lady by the name of Sharon, as soon as she told me she'd been down to the car park first thing this morning, checked, it was still here, she sent for me and I came. I came with my two helpers Helper number one, who's not feeling very well. And helper the best. And then helper the best number two. We returned to the car park at the base of, what's the name of that? At the base of Penny Ghent to get my GoPro. 
So I drove nearly five hours back to Yorkshire on the second day to uh, retrieve my GoPro. Hi Ryan, we're now packaging your camera and sending it back to you uh, nice and safely. You are a very lucky lad, I found it in the car park. Uh, we're going to post it tomorrow morning, all the best, thanks very much, bye bye.